Hey, it's pretty cool seeing TJP here. Compared to what? Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, weighing in at 175 pounds, TJP. Byron, you strike me as the kind of guy who dabs a lot. Uh, from time to time. Yeah, you know who else does? My 10-year-old kid. It's oh. embarrassing. I mean, TJP's a grown man. Get in there and fight. Stop dancing. Stop posing. Stop reposting compliments on social media. It's a problem. It's a sickness. Okay, uh, well, your anger towards TJP aside, you got to give him his props, Corey. I mean, the guy was the first ever Cruiserweight champion. He basically anchored the rebirth of the Cruiserweight division. All right, I uh -huh. begrudgingly admit you're right on that point. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Balor Club. The future is bright for the Irishman, Finn Balor. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. Superstar, former NXT champion, the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen, is for real. You can just feel the widespread respect that the WWE Universe has for Finn Balor. The Irish captain, Finn Balor, is looking to take all enemies hostage as we get underway here. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, can you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Wow. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost Ooh. impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to say... He's looking at it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Oh. 
Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Ah, jumpy DDT. My. Oof. And here we go. Finn Balor with the cover. And TJP with a quick kick out. Too soon. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh man. Around. The Irishman has his Irish up. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Stay down, man. What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. He wants no part of the outside. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Trump kick hits the mark. And Finn Balor's ripped. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. And a spinning sit-out power bomb. Finn Balor going high risk. Whoa! He's calling for it. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting. Oh, he's still in this. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Knee drop. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Tope con Hilo. Oh, that was awesome. This is awesome. Back in from the floor. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Damn it. The Irishman has his Irish up. Well, that was a close call. How'd he do that? Beautiful technique. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes! Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Can he finish him off here? This is where Finn Balor's at home. Cody Ross! Wow, what a... Here we go for the win! Three! Finn Balor wins! Let's take another look at these guys in action. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! That's an impressive win right there. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring.